Your dog, your cat, they have cancer. What are the suggested doses, the regimen for this? Panicure or fenbendazole? Cancer, it sucks. You know that one in four dogs are gonna develop cancer over the stage of their lifetime. 50% of all dogs over the age of 10, they're gonna develop cancer. One of the more common types of cancer in our dogs is lymphoma, and it's really difficult to treat. Even if a dog gets chemotherapy, the average remission is only eight to nine months. The average survival time with chemotherapy, is only about a year. And it's common. It accounts up to 24% of new cancers diagnosed in dogs. So it's not surprising that many people that are looking for alternative forms of treatment if their dog, their cat gets cancer, and they're looking at things, you know, such as this, the old dewormer panicure for cancer. But is this, is this the new magic treatment? Is it gonna make a huge big difference if your dog or cat gets cancer? First, cancer, it can be really difficult to treat. You know, hence you look at all the billions of dollars that have been spent on cancer research, developing new cancer drugs. We haven't really gone that far in terms of being really successful in treating cancer. So my point being, like this old dewormer panicure, clearly it's one more tool. It's definitely something to consider trying, but don't think of it as some magic bullet. I've been asked many questions about panicure. Joe Tippin successfully treated himself with metastatic cancer, no longer responding to chemotherapeutic drugs, and in part by using this panicure. But that being all said, I've had many people respond on YouTube. They've had some really good results using panicure. A new study was recently published, the anti-cancer effects of fenbendazole or panicure on FU flora uracil resistant colorectal cancer cells. Colon cancer is one of the leading causes of death in people worldwide. It can be a really difficult cancer to treat, especially if it's metastasized. And one of the primary chemotherapeutic drugs that is used is called fluorouracil. Really, really super toxic drug can have some pretty serious secondary side effects. So these are cancer cells, colon cancer cells, they're resistant to fluorouracil but they actually responded to the fenbendazole in terms of it induced colon cancer cell death. This is obviously all in the early stages. They're not publishing protocols, and this is what they're seeing in a lab. So they're not yet applying it uh, in the real world examples. But to know that there's a pretty safe and really repurposed animal dewormer, it's safe for people, it's safe for our dogs and cats, working on a serious type of cancer such as colorectal cancer, I mean, that's awesome news. It appears that fenbendazole works against many of the cancer cells because it destabilizes the cell walls. It's known as a microtubule destabilizer. Clearly, I'm especially simplifying this. Cancer works in so many different ways. There's so many different subtypes of cancer. But when you look at the crappy odds of, you know, even our best new chemotherapies, and you know, that's what you get an eight to nine month remission. It really makes sense to me, probably makes sense to you, starting to look at an array of different alternative options. Because in so many instances, like conventional treatment, it is not gonna cure your dog or your cat. Tula were to get cancer, which I hope she never does, but 100% this would be one of my options. So what are the doses of Panicure for cancer? Like what are the wrenches in people? Then what are the regimens in our dogs and cats? Joe Tippins used a relatively low dose of Panicure. He used 222 milligrams of Panicure daily. That's somewhere between one to two milligrams per pound. And he used that ongoing. It's been several years since he's had cancer, but he stays on that Panicure regimen. Standard dog and cat dose is typically for deworming, that's 50 mg per kilo. That's given once daily for three days. No one has yet to publish any clear established guidelines as far as regimens for cancer treatment. So there's two I would consider. First of all, the high dose. So for this liquid panicure here, it comes from the clinic, each one cc or one mil of the panicure that is 100 milligrams. Meaning Tula getting 500 milligrams, that would be five cc's. But panicure comes in other forms. There's the panicure C, you can get as these granules of the capsules, it comes in a little pouch, easy to get online. Each of those packets is, has 222 milligrams of panicure. So you would need two of those packets daily. And animals that are given that dose, few if any ever have any side effects. There's a few to no drug interactions, no vomiting, diarrhea, etc. I do three days on, four days off. I would do that for 30 to 60 days 
and assess, is she responding or not? If she, and if she responded to that regimen, I would just stay on that, keeping that cancer in remission. But then if we extrapolate it back to what Joe Tippins has used, a very low, low dose, so his dose equates to about a milligram per kilo, about two milligrams per pound. It'd be about one milligram per kilo. Little Tula, she's about 10 kilos, 22 pounds. So she would be getting 10 milligrams because she's 10 kilos and she'd be giving that at an ongoing basis. This is a little insulin syringe here. So it's a little easier to measure, but 0.1 of a mil, that's right there. It's a teeny amount. As I said earlier, if I were to treating any of my dogs for cancer, I'd be following the high dose protocol, 50 mg per kilo, once daily, three days on, four days off. Do that for 60 days, assessing the response. I hope this video has given you a little bit of better clarity in terms of accurate doses like what doses of Panicure your dog or cat should be on if they are to develop cancer. And definitely I'm seeing positivity by seeing you know, new research on Panicure for cancer people, specifically colon cancer, and seeing positive results. So thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets, uh, updated regimens of Panicure for cancer treatment in our dogs and cats. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.